Okay, welcome back. Uh, you know, mostly again, this is for my students in class. I can give them kind of an education in financial stability and finances. And so it's kind of why I'm starting with the stock market. I will get to cryptocurrency in some of my later videos. And uh, I hope this can help any individual. Um, so parents out there, if your child is watching this, I think it's a, a, personally for my my children, I, I started them off with just a couple hundred dollars and I wanted to see what they can do. Even if they lost the $200, they have learned something by doing something and they're actually watching it. And this is actually really what finance and mathematics is all about. So I personally believe it's a great learning lesson. I'd much rather put two, two to $500 in the stock market for them than buy some of the tennis shoes that they want when they already have three of them or to upgrade their iPhone because they want it and it's the newest thing um, or another game or something else that's just a fad. So this is hopefully a, a learning lesson for many of them. All right, so I went to some place, this is a really another good website besides Yahoo Finance, it's called Bar Charts, okay? And it gives you a lot of different readings. I'm gonna show you what some of them are. Okay, when we get to clicking on the button of stocks, you can see, you can see stock market overview, market momentum, market performance, top 100 stocks, all right, new highs and lows, and it has screeners. Some of these things you have to pay for, many of the things you do not. So I can still kind of like this. It talks about indices, it talks about the S&P indices, and this is just, and then bullish moving average, bullish, excuse me, things that may be going up, and then I'm sure there's bearish at this point too. So. That's right here. We'll just take a look at the top 100 stocks and see how they kind of evaluate them. So it's popping up right now. And all right, we see uh, something called Alpha Metallur Metallurgical uh, Resources and then CVR Partners and et cetera. And it's telling you what some of these ratings are. I'm not going to go into what Alpha and some of the, uh, the Greeks are. We'll do that in a much later video, but they are also very important as to valuing stocks. So we could go up and down the list and we can at least see what they've kind of made in the time period. You can see today was not really a very good day for stocks. And so you're seeing a lot of these things go down. ETFs are funds, okay? They're trading funds and they have many different types of ETFs. And let's look at the top 100 ETFs. They could be energy ETFs. They could be uh, fuel e ETFs. They could be electric energy ETFs. They could be, let's just take a look at something. There's natural gas ETFs. So it buys all the natural gas stocks. Oil funds, okay, gasoline. Um, that's just some of them. And those are the ones that are doing well. And I told you before, I really do believe in commodities like oil, gold, uh, silver, natural gas, right? So many of these things we're seeing are oil, okay? Benchmark industrial real estate ETF. So there's almost ETFs for almost everything. One of the things that the people are trying to get through is a Bitcoin ETF in a cryptocurrency. I haven't got it quite got it through yet. Um, all right, so that's ETFs. Stock options, I will teach you about in later videos, but you can kind of see, I won't go into too much. I might do uh, um, calls, some simple call options, and we can tell you how to buy calls and sell calls and buy puts and sell puts. So I, I, I will do that at a later time. It's another way to make money, but it is a little bit more risky. You really do need to be trading stocks for a while before you ap approach option trading. Futures is, kind of what we think is going to happen on the future market. You have to commodity prices here in gold. A lot of time, the gold, the oil market buys their oil 30 to 45 days out. So you'll see these contract prices for February and March already starting to form. And that's how billions of barrels of oil are traded on the open market. All right, and then we have currencies. And here it's cryptocurrency. So we do have the major cryptocurrencies that are on here as well. I kind of like that accessibility that it has all in bar charts. So 
even the crypto market overview. And we should see a lot of fear after what happened today. I think Bitcoin's all the way down to 36,000. So, I mean, um, it's, it's a perfectly good site. I think it's going to come up and possibly show us at this point. Maybe not. All right. Um, let's move over to, uh, those are news. This is news headlines. And then finally, you have a dashboard and you have some tools. And we'll take a look at some of the tools that you have available for you. All right. You have to launch the dashboard if I want my dashboard. Just hold on to the Yeah, see, 